Right, so this is a question um, about moments. Um, if you take a minute now to pause the video, have a look at the question and see if you can answer it yourself and then you can compare your answers uh, when we go through it together. Right, so let's go through the question um, with our highlighters to start off with. So the diagram shows a father and his two children sitting on a playground seesaw. The seesaw is not moving. So that's something that is important um, so that we know whether it is balanced, whether it's in equilibrium or whether it is actually moving. So the axis of rotation is um, labelled. This is like the pivot point. We're given the moment of the father is 960 newton metres. The moment of the girl is 360 newton metres. And the boy, labelled B, so there's a downwards arrow, so his weight, labelled W. And then it tells you that the distance from him to the pivot the axis of rotation is 1.6 metres. So this information is going to become more useful as we uh, as we go through. So um, we've got all that information. Then the first question says, what is the total clockwise moment of the two children about the axis of rotation? And then explain the reason for your answer. So it's three marks. Um, I imagine that you'll, you'll get a mark for this first section here and then you'll get probably two marks for um, these bits here. Now, really it's asking you to state what is the total clockwise moment. Um, there's not really a calculation that you need to do for this. So we need to look at this information and then, and then make a decision. So um, we know that the uh, anti-clockwise moment, so if this is um, balanced and this is pushing down, so that would be pushing anti-clockwise. So therefore the father's moment is anti-clockwise. And the children are the clockwise moments. Okay, so what is the clockwise moment of these children? We know that it's not moving. So if it's not moving, then it is in equilibrium, or we could say that it is balanced. Um, and we know that the law of uh, moments is that when something is in equilibrium, that um, the sum of the clockwise moments will equal the sum of the anti-clockwise moments. So therefore, the moments of these children, the moment of these children together, is going to equal the father's moment. So therefore, the total clockwise moment of the children is going to be equal to their father. So nine hundred and sixty newton meters, and the reason for this is the seesaw is in equilibrium. You could say balanced, but um, equilibrium is a better kind of scientific terminology to use. So the seesaw is in equilibrium. Uh, so the anti-clockwise moments will equal uh, the clockwise moments. Don't say they'll be the same um, because uh, it's just not specific enough. It's always more useful to actually give um, a, as clear an answer as possible, really. OK, so then the next question, um, what is the clockwise moment of the boy B about the axis of rotation? So we let's write out the information that we know. We know that the total clockwise moment is 960 newton metres, because we wrote that here. We know that um, the girl's clockwise moment is 360 newton metres, because that's given in the diagram. And it's asters for the boy's clockwise moment. OK, well, if this is the total and this is the girls, then the boys has got to be the difference between it. 
So it's going to be 960 minus 360. Um, I mean, we shouldn't need a calculator, but let's let's prove it anyway. Uh, 960 minus 360 is 600. So let's always write it in this kind of given answer box. 600 Newton meters. Right. And then this is the bit that is the slightly more advanced part of the question. Use the information in the diagram to calculate the weight of the boy. Show clearly how you worked out your answer. So, information in the diagram. Um, we've already used the kind of moments information and we know the boy's moment and we need to work out the weight. So there must be something else in the diagram that can help us. And the bit that we've not used so far is this distance that it um, has given us. So the first thing that we could do is think about well, what's our equation for um, moments. So to work out a moment, we do the force times the distance from the pivot. So it's the force that is um, at right angles to that plane. So this is his weight and the distance is the distance from the pivot. We already know his moment because we've just calculated it. So we'll write that out here, 600. The force is W, which is what we want to find out. And the distance is 1.6. We don't want 1.6 W, we want W by itself. So we'd need to divide by 1.6. Uh, whatever we do to this side, we need to do to this side. So we'll do 600 divided by 1.6. And this would give us 375 is the boy's weight. So let's write that in here. 375 newtons.